All right, guys, so we had a data download over on Global. Well, a data download or, you know, maintenance, you know, Global usually gets their data downloads uh, simultaneously with maintenance. Um, we do actually have the data for the new uh, Transforming Vegeta. Uh, Team Dokkan and the French Data Miners were completely on point yet again, like they, you know, pretty much almost always are. Uh, they are just very, very reliable at this point. Um, okay, so what we have here... Uh, we have a base form Vegeta that Dokkan awakens into the brand new summonable Super Vegeta. And as you guys can see, his art is fantastic. Here, let me actually pull up uh, his separate card, which is this one right here. So that is great right there. Uh, his super attack is the Spirit Break Cannon. Okay, he greatly raises attack for one turn and does supreme damage, so that's good. Uh, then the attack and defense plus 80%. He raises attack and defense by up to 120%. More HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. And performs guaranteed crits against Android enemies. So, some of these units like this, I don't necessarily... Okay, so I like this Super Vegeta for this reason right here. He's good regarding the last part. He's already amazing, right? It's like Tech God Vegeta, or excuse me, Tech God Goku and the uh, SCR God Vegeta, where they were already really good. But then if they're fighting a movie boss enemy, they have that extra little buff that's really, really nice. Well, we've got the same thing here for this Vegeta, where he's already going to be quite good. But, you know, you, you start to go up against an Android category enemy, and he's getting these guaranteed crits left and right. That's really strong. So, Fierce Battle, Prepare for Battle, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Pride, Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Super Saiyan. Uh, I suspect that this Vegeta will be an outstanding unit for, like, the Vegeta's Lineage team. Uh, this is one more check mark off the list for Dokkan, a good Super Vegeta, and there are the medals uh, to awaken this guy. I presume it's just the two units, just the Super Vegeta and then the Transforming Vegeta. Okay, so... Uh, the Transforming Vegeta himself, right? Uh, looks like both of these, by the way, uh, awaken from base form. So there's going to be two new base form Vegetas. Uh, that will be very, very easy to uh, grind their super attack levels. There's a bunch of different events that drop base form Vegetas. Um, I know global players may have a surplus of the Coat Vegeta still hanging around. Uh, I did see some people in the Dokkan subreddit saying like, oh, don't forget to farm up. Some Coat Vegeta's just in case the Transforming Vegeta is a base form card, which he is. So, you know, if you have some of those uh, base form Coat Vegeta's lying around, you're going to be looking real good here. So, uh, both of them are base form, the Super Vegeta and the Transforming Vegeta. Now, here we have the Transforming Vegeta. Now, I don't think we're able to completely access his uh, data beyond his first transformation into Super Vegeta right here. Uh, but it does look like he raises his defense on Super Attack. And then all the way up to blue, I, you know, I'm not completely sure what his effect might be, but that is pretty interesting right there, uh, that he is indeed going to raise his defense the whole way through. Uh, then, you know, he's just slowly going to get stronger with this passive, with the more attack and defense, and then more attack per orb. So, uh, it's going to be looking very interesting, right? Uh, so far, I mean, you look at his leader skill, pure Saiyans category key 3, 150% the stats, but then he also gives... Super class, 100%, uh, and three keys. So, you know, <laughs> you guys should already know where my mind is going. That means LRB Pan uh, is going to be a actual option for this team. So, <laughs> there's going to be shenanigans afoot. Vegeta has easily one of the best teams in the game. Uh, just counting the fact that he has... Um, like a pure Saiyan leader skill where he's going to be giving extreme buffs to the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Transforming Vegeta is going to be absolutely ridiculous out of this world. Um, here we have the new uh, world tournament uh, first. I, I don't want to use the term exclusive. I, well, okay, here's number one. I hope no card is exclusive, and that includes Heroes. We're getting close to the release date of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, so hopefully in April, Global will indeed get all of those cards. The, you know, Adult Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Darkness Toa. I want Global to get all that stuff, and then hopefully JP, you know, starts working on some of the... Um, the global first stuff as well because i just don't like the idea of exclusives it, it's it's dumb uh but okay so here we have the future gohan he's okay 
Uh, I do think the SCR, uh, Goku Black, uh, that JP's getting right now is a bit better uh, because he is a support type unit that's going to be very valuable, I think. Whereas, you know, this Gohan is just going to be a, a solid unit you could use. But the Dokkan Fest exclusive is definitely better. So his leader skills, well, I mean, his leader skills aren't that bad, actually. Super int type key 2 and stats 70%, that's decent. Uh, so he raises attack and does supreme damage with the Hyper Masenko. So he stacks his attack, that's good. Uh, his passive is attack and defense 80%, which is good. You know, that's that's solid. Uh, and then he gets two key and an additional 50% attack when there's an Android's category enemy. Again, th that's also solid. Uh, you got to keep in mind that he is essentially a free-to-play unit, though. So he's only at 11,000 attack. So he's not going to be putting up like a 2 million attack stat even when he's fighting an Android category enemy or anything like that. And then he has typical future Gohan links on the family, Golden Warriors, Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, experience fighters, and dismal future. I would say all in all, uh, this future Gohan is solid. Definitely not a bad card uh, or anything like that, but uh, Bojack was definitely a lot better. Because we already have a much better future Gohan than this guy in the Dokkan Fest exclusive one. Uh, whereas, you know, that physical Bojack is probably the best, like, you know, first form or base form Bojack in Dokkan. That's one reason he became so valuable. So, this guy's meh. Uh, you know, because the Goku Black, the thing about the Goku Black is, you know, you could go with the Dokkan Fest exclusive one, which is definitely better. But, like, you know, depending upon what you want to do, that SCR Goku Black, you know, what's a support unit, might actually be more useful on some of the teams than the the in transforming Goku Black. Especially because, you know, the, the transforming Goku Black, he, he really is sort of unimpressive until he transforms. I mean, he's solid, but, you know, there's definitely better units out there. So, okay. So, that's uh, the future Gohan. Uh, the Vegeta's lineage category is now officially on global. It's called the Vegeta's Vegeta's family, uh, you know, category now on global. Uh, that's good. I I'm I'm a little surprised that they did that, just because like it's like they reveal you know the one of the big time four year anniversary categories. But this is good. Uh, even though the data is not in the files yet for the EZA father son Gallant gun. Uh, Trunks and Vegeta. Uh, the fact that the Vegeta's family or Vegeta's lineage category is here, that does tell me that they are probably going to be getting an easy at the same time uh, on global that they do on JP. So that's going to be good, right? So, you know, here is the Vegeta's family category on global. Very, very good. But, you know, there's some things that Global doesn't have yet, like LRB Pan's Awakening, uh, Bra's Dokkan Awakening that are really, really strong for this team. As well as, obviously, uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, who, of course, is not yet out on Global. Uh, regardless, you know, it's still a very powerful team, and it still will be even on Global. Uh, although, it, you know, this is just more of like a pure Saiyan sort of mix. I don't know. Like, the category is definitely here just for the EZAs, the more I think about it. So, that's that. Uh, we already looked at the EZAs. Uh, now, here's another thing, too. Uh, the event was teased. I mean, if we go to the release schedule, we can see they come out uh, on Sunday night. I will actually be out of town on Sunday, but uh, I do have... I, I have the ability to record, so uh, I'll probably... I don't know if I'll be able to stream. I, I might stream. Uh, at the very least, I'll be able to do a, a summoning video. Maybe I'll do like 500, 1,000 stones. Uh, and then when, when I get back into town, I will, uh, you know, summon in Rainbow. <laughs> I'll Rainbow Transforming Vegeta. I'm definitely going to Rainbow him. He's good. Uh, I definitely want to get the new Super Vegeta Rainbowed as well. Both of them are quite solid cards. Um, but, you know, here we go. There's a teaser for the new, uh, you know, Transforming Vegeta Dokkan Fest, which again comes in two days from now. Uh, also, there is a story event. This was kind of surprising right here. I don't think this is coming to global, by the way, uh, because otherwise this probably would have been in the data already. The EZAs, typically what they do is like they'll release um, the like Dokkan Fest banner or something like that. And then the following week would be an EZA. So it makes sense to me that, like, I even made a tweet where, you know, I was kind of talking, like, you know, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen with the EZA. But it makes sense to me uh, that, you know, their info isn't out yet because it'll probably be next week, whereas Vegeta drops in two days. But on JP, 
uh, copy Vegeta drops in two days. So, it, it, you know, the fact that he's not in the data uh, on global basically tells me that he's not yet coming out to global. So keep that in mind. Uh, I believe there's two farmable cards we'll be able to get here. Uh, a copy Vegeta as well as a uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. That's going to be interesting. So, you know, this is indeed... This is... I mean, borderline the worst moments in Dragon Ball Super was the copy Vegeta arc, but at the same time, uh, I still am sort of excited to get this copy Vegeta card. That sounds very goofy and fun. I presume it'll be like a base form copy Vegeta that will awaken into this uh, Super Saiyan Blue copy Vegeta. I mean, we'll see what he'll be like. Uh, I guess, hey, that again, another check mark on Dokkan's list. They got another unit into the game, uh, so that's good. <laughs> Copy Vegeta. <laughs> that is really goofy. Uh, and then the other thing we have right here uh, is a new treasure item. Now, this is in the global assets, so this might be like a login bonus or something, or perhaps. This is part of that Copy Vegeta story event, and Global is going to get it. I mean, we'll see, but, you know, this is definitely a treasure that we can uh, turn in at the uh, Global, bo or the Baba Shop, right? Uh, and then, last thing we're going to do is take a look at the Super Attacks. Uh, the homie DBZ World went ahead and uploaded the Supers over here on his channel, so make sure y'all go check him out. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link to his uh, Super Attack video down there in... Probably the, I'll probably pin it in the comments. Because see, like when I give credit, like let's say I use like a render or something like that. I feel like usually I do like to leave it in the comments section rather than the description. Because if you toss it in the description, it gets like buried. But like in the comments, people will see it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. So uh, these, again, are going to be the Transforming Vegeta Super Attacks. They're not the most impressive. Like this is Transforming Vegeta. Just a normal Gallic gun that's, again, not very impressive whatsoever. Uh, so here's a Super Saiyan Vegeta, <laughs> and then this looks to be uh, the Super Saiyan Vegeta from the movie, his bang, Big Bang Attack, so again, that's not really too crazy either. Uh, that is the Super Saiyan 2 transforming Vegeta right there, uh, and he is going to do... Okay. All right, that's okay. That's that's a lot better. That's a lot better. So that's that's the Super Saiyan two Vegeta right there. Uh, there is of course you know the two different Super Vegetas. Uh, you know one in the transforming and then one uh, via a summonable unit. So there's the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Uh, looks like it is different from his movie Super Attack, but already I don't know. It, it's kind of looking not as good. I mean, that's not that bad. It's not that bad, but it's certainly not uh, what we would expect, right? This is not up to the recent quality of super attacks that Dokkan has put out. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, that yeah, yeah. that actually does look pretty clean. Okay, and then I like the, the close-up as well. So that attack, by the way, is going to be doing like 10 million damage. Uh, and then here, of course, that is the Super Vegeta card. You know, the, the base form Vegeta that's going to Dokkan Awaken into the Super Vegeta. And I believe... Okay, and then that is the transforming Super Vegeta right there. So, uh, I don't think this is going to include the Super Attack for Super Vegeta. Uh, unless maybe it's the same attack that the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta had. I suppose that's possible. Uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll wait and see um, if, like, uh, the other Super Vegeta does have... Uh, a different attack later on, and then there's future Gohan's attack, which I mean is is okay. I mean, it's <laughs> what what are what are we gonna expect, right? So uh, there is all the info I, here. I just quickly want to take a look at the two Vegetas, right? So Super Vegeta does the Spirit Break Cannon. It's probably this move right there, so we did not see that one. So I'm sure Super Vegeta's Super Attack will look really good. Uh, and then if we do the Transform, yeah, that generic Final Flash was the Transforming Vegeta. Uh, and then, yeah, with DBZ Space, it's only really able to let us look at the first form. But there we go, guys. There is all the info uh, that we have currently related to, you know, the upcoming Copy Vegeta coming very soon, uh, Transforming Vegeta, Super Vegeta. I mean, I'm very excited. Uh, this stuff looks good. Vegeta looks really good. The only negative I noticed, I did catch this, is that base form Vegeta has prepared for battle and shocking speed. But then when he gets to his TUR, uh, he loses shocking speed. <laughs> I mean, if they had given him shocking speed instead of Golden Warrior the whole way through, he would have been very impressive. Because I presume 
this Vegeta will be like transforming Goku, and that by the time you get to God, he'll probably lose prepared for battle, but we'll see what happens, right? Um, regardless, I would say he is a phenomenal unit. His leader skill is crazy. Um, this looks to be a pretty good celebration for both Global and JP. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all next time.